hello guys welcome to the neat jeans youtube channel today i am going to tell you the trick to learn different names of phylums of monoecious dioecious and both type organisms as given in the animal kingdom chapter of class 11th ncrt book let's proceed directly without wasting any more time first let me give you a brief description about what is monoecious what is dioecious organisms monoecious the word monoecious as mono means single ecious means entity single entity means these are the organisms which have male reproductive organs and female reproductive organs and the in the same body therefore they exist as a single entity they are also called bisexual because on the same body there are two types of sexual organs present bisexual they are also called hermaphrodite dioecious di means double ecious means entity double entity means male reproductive organs female reproductive organs are on different bodies so they exist as two types of identities so each identity has single type of sex organs so they are called unisexual organisms sorry i made a spelling mistake unisexual organisms now these examples we will learn in the trick now we will go to both type what is both type both type means both type of classification under this criteria those phylums are placed for whom some organisms of the phylum are monosexual 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 not monosexual it is actually unisexual don't use monosexual it will cause confusion with monoecious unisexual unisexual and some organisms are bisexual of the same phylum yeah, of the same phylum organisms belong to the same phylum unisexual and also called dioecious bisexual also called monoecious as we have studied above these are both type of classification now we will learn one simple line and with that all phylums will be placed under these three categories let's you write the line al along with me it will get placed in your brain and it will be remembered for a very long time ab means in hindi now anna who is a girl washes all her four plates means she has four four plates in which she eats food and then she washes her four plates on her own from now so let's decipher the trick b for both a for a in for anelida anelida shows both type of organisms all 
हार्मोफ्रोडाइट हार मीन्स हार्मोफ्रोडाइट सिंगल एंटीटी मोनोशियस बाइसेक्सुअल फोर ऑल एंड फोर दिस मीन्स फर्स्ट टू फोर्थ फाइलम एंड अप टिल प्लेटी हेलमिथिस प्लेट मीन्स प्लेटी हेलमिथिस दैट इज द फोर्थ फाइलम दैट मीन्स that means the first four phylum starting from porifera to platyhelminthes show hermaphrodite condition let's write them down first four phylum are porifera cilentareta when you pronounce the word cilentareta pronounce is pronounce it as cilentareta if you pronounce it as cilentrate then you will get the spelling wrong it is also called nidaria due to presence of nidocytes in its tentacles then tinophora which is exclusively marine and lacks excretory or system and platyhelminthes which is the flat worm they are mostly parasitic in nature and live within the body of hosts so they have hooks and suckers just extra information yes and both these are all hermaphrodite condition or bisexual or monoecious now both type that is annelida let me give you some clarity regarding how it is both type annelida there are three examples given in the ncrt for annelida one is the nereis that is the aquatic annelida nereis aquatic in habitat and the other two are earthworm scientific name is ferretima from the e n r you can guess that it is e r means earth e r earthworm it is the scientific name of earthworm and leech blood sucking leech that is hirudinaria it has dinar word that means it will make your blood as its dinner from that you can memorize it as leech hirudinaria and then about nereis nereis is the only dioecious out of them it is only dioecious that is unisexual these two are bisexual how will you remember it using one single word that is nerd n e r for nereis and d for dioecious nerd in schools there are nerds who are very good in studies so from that you can learn nerd nereis nerd means dioecious and these two are bi bisexual or hermaphrodite or monoecious rest all other phylums of non chordates and chordates whatever are left all of them should be sorry monoecious we have studied earlier let me see the all of them are unisexual or dioecious for example take humans we all are dioecious we exist separately as males and females 
let's write down the phylums in order and again use the elimination procedure p c c p porifera cylindrata tinophora platyhelminthes ascalminthes annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata and chordata now let's cut out what we have already considered p c c p these are hermaphrodite annelida annelida is both type so the things that are remaining are Ascalminthes or roundworms, they are round because of the presence of pseudocilum, they are somewhat like this. This, this is endoderm, and their mesoderm is present like this in pouches and due to the presence of pouches and this cavity which we call as pseudocilum it gives a round shaped appearance due to which they form get in a get a round shaped body and called as round worms this is ectoderm and this is endoderm ascalminthes and then arthropoda largest phylum as i have told you previously also arthropodum is jointed appendages m for mollusca second largest double l e for echinodermata echinodermata e and no means no excretory system and the word itself means echino spiny and derma means body it is spiny bodied due to presence of calcareous ossicles that is ossicles small bones made up of calcium carbonate h for hemichordata hemichordata means 50% chordates i have told you earlier also i am not telling it again and chordata all chordates are unisexual in nature so this was the simple trick hope you enjoyed the video just if you remember this line you can easily crack all questions which asks whether the which phylum is unisexual which phylum is bisexual which phylum is both hope you enjoyed the trick hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video do press the like button hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so that whenever i upload tricks you can get notified and also share this video as much as possible so that your friends also gets benefited from the video thank you meet you in my next video